Xanthoma xanthalasma. They are tiny to large, 3 inches or more, and usually soft, pale yellow to reddish with distinct margins. Depending on where and how they are caused and how they look, they come in various types, but they range from tiny, 1 inch or less, to large, up to 3 inches or more. Flat fatty deposits associated with the tendons are relatively common, particularly in the elderly, and can cause pain, where it hurts, when pressure is applied to the area. Xanthalasma are yellowish papules or plaques caused by the deposit of lipids on the eyelids. Nodules can also appear in the upper eyelid, under the eye or in other parts of the body, such as the nose. About 50% of patients with xanthalasma have abnormal cholesterol or triglyceride levels, and these lesions have been associated with hypothyroidism, cirrhosis and nephrotic syndrome. Clinically, they are yellowish papules, plaques or nodules and may be semi-firm or hard, but soft in internal consistency. There are also gastric xanthalasma, which can also be named gastric xanthomas. Gastric xanthalasma is the second leading cause of death after stomach cancer in the U.S., 14%. Gastric xanthoma, GX, was observed in about 1.5% of the U.S. population, with a mortality rate of 2.2%. Defining xanthomas Flat xanthomas are broad, on the basis of yellowish macula or plaques located on the outside of the extensor tendon and the upper extremities such as buttocks, thighs and buttocks. Xanthomatous nodules are solid subcutaneous nodules found in the inner extremity, especially the posterior and extensor tendon. Eruptive xanthomas are erupted with several reddish-yellow papules that appear in a crop on or near the extensor surface or extremities, such as the buttocks, with a diameter of 1 to 10 mm, 15 to 20 mm. The most common are tendinous xanthoms, xanthalasma, which erupt with a diameter of 1 to 10 mm, 15 to 20 mm, although tuberous xanthoms and intertrogenous xanthoms occur occasionally. Tuberous xanthomas are characterized by exuberant, exophytic, elongating and exophagous exoskeletons located in the stretches, aspects of the elbow, knee or heel. Xanthalasma is a type of tendinous exanthome with a diameter of 1 to 10 mm, 15 to 20 mm, and a yellowish-brown, distinctive area that is soft, flat and elliptical. It is characterized by a white or brownish color in the appearance of two or three different areas, each soft and flat and elliptical or elliptical, except for one or two different areas in red or orange. Defining Xanthalasma Xanthalasma is a benign lesion that usually has no symptoms, and is cosmetically unattractive but permanent, unless a professional removal approach is taken with xanthal register. Xanthomas are macules, papules, nodules or plaques, characterized by the presence of lipids in foam cells, which are the histological characteristics of the lesions. The lesions tend to increase in number and size, and are symmetrical to the bilateral eye. Clinically, they are yellowish papules, plaques or nodules, and have a soft consistency that can be semi-firm or hard. Xanthomatous lesions are the same as xanthogranulomas. Xanthoma treatments the treatment of xanthomas is mainly aimed at lowering lipid levels, and the aim is to identify the underlying cause, such as a lipid disorder. If there is a case where the lipid level is normal, then a removal of eyelid xanthomas or xanthlasma with xanthal registered will remove them from the client in one treatment. Treatment usually resolves xanthoma, but diffuse normal lipemic xanthomatosis has often skinned normal lipid levels and is associated with an increase in the number of macrophages and the presence of abnormal macromolecules. Find out more at xanthalasmatreatment.com or xanthal.com.